guys, welcome to my channel. There is so many exciting things happening in this video today. I'm using my March Ipsy Glam Back products. I'm using my L'Oreal New Lumi Cushion Foundation. A lot of you requested me to test it. As well as few of my new babies, my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And uh, it's my first time doing it on the camera. They're super blendable, they're creamy, they're very affordable. I'm absolutely in love with them as well as I'm doing this beautiful cut crease make tutorial with the red lip which is very so not common for me it's all over my teeth at this point maybe that's why and uh, I'm really stepping outside of my box outside of my comfort zone and I'm so grateful and thankful for you guys for helping me and supporting me and commenting in the video watching liking subscribing sharing I'm just so in love with you and please don't miss out the tutorial I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it thank you so much for watching and please subscribe Soft Brown by MAC Have Rapunzel by Makeup Geek Saddle by Mac How Black Track by Mac. I did my eyeliner a little differently today just because of this cut crease look. You'll see later what I'm talking about. I'm taking the same shade Saddle on my angle brush. Now I'm going in with the Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek with a flat definer brush, very light handed. Have Beaten by Makeup Geek. And I'm taking any black eyeshadow, the one I have here is a Fashionista by Tarte.
I'm going in with a cockapier and apply defining brush for my lower lash. And settle on a pencil brush. So as I already mentioned for my foundation today, I'll be using L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation, uh, which is definitely for dry to normal skin and my skin is normal to oily. So I have to set it with a translucent powder. I got it yesterday afternoon, so I didn't really have enough time to try it. Uh, but uh, so far, it's so good. I'm not a big fan. I'm not a huge fan. I like it, but I don't love it. The actual foundation, because it makes my skin look even more oily than it is. Uh, but the packaging is absolutely amazing. I'm like truly in love. If you watched my channel before, you know that I'm one of those to like the mixed foundations uh, on the wrist. And even if I have this little metal palette, it still doesn't work for me as good as my hand. And uh, it just gets so messy. It gets all over my table, all over my clothes. It just makes a huge hot mess. And i just not a big fan of that. As for the color, I got mine in N2, which is a little too light for my face. But the next one they had is a N3.5, which is too dark for me. So I got the lighter one because I'm still going to bronze out my face. It's better to get a lighter one than go dark. As well as um, in the summertime, I'm sure I'm going to get tan. And I can always just pump a few drops of a different darker foundation in here and mix it up together and use the same sponge for it. And I love this packaging so much. I feel like I'm going to just pump my MAC foundation in here so it's easier for me to use. Like, I'm just not kidding. I'm not really sure if there's a difference between this True Match Cushion Foundation and a True Match L'Oreal into the actual foundation formula. So, and this one's like more at $15, this one is seven. So I feel like I can buy another bottle of this later and pump it in here and use the same sponge. I'll see, I'll see how the sponge is gonna look after I use this one. But for the packaging, I'm willing to make it work. I'll put a mattifying primer, I'll set up with a translucent powder, I'll set up with a makeup spray, I will do it just because of the packaging. I'm willing to use the sponge even if I don't like the foundation. Is that even normal? <laughs> well done, L'Oreal. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I recommend using this foundation either with a beauty blender or the fluffy foundation brush uh, because this little sponge that came with it, I don't think it's even possible. It's so thin, I don't even know if it's gonna work. So I'm gonna prime my face with the oil-free foundation primer. Uh, this one is uh, pore minimizing. Uh, the ideal one will be the uh, mattifying that I cannot find at the moment. So I'm just gonna use this one. This is so easy! For my concealer, I'll be using MAC Pro Wear Concealer in color in W20. Can they just make a concealer cushion? <laughs> also, I forgot to mention earlier that this foundation is very liquid, so it takes a little while for it to dry, so just wait a few minutes before putting any powders, uh, blushes, bronzers on your face. I'm just gonna do my eyebrows meanwhile. With the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color dark brown.
have a bronzer by Be A Bombshell in the color Heat Wave. And I'm setting everything with the MAC Prep and Prime translucent powder. MAC Well Dress, my favorite blush. And Back in Color Moonstone highlighter. Another product that I got in my March Ipsy bag is the Liquid Lipstick by NYX uh, Liquid Suit in the color Rouge and I fall in love with this so much It's super creamy, it's completely matte, it's so gorgeous So I went to the store yesterday and got another one different shade uh, I'm gonna save this one for my next tutorial It's so pretty, oh my goodness But today I'm gonna use this one that I came in the box